The entire classification for how bad a breast capsule can get is really based on an entire system called the Baker classification. It's a Baker 1, 2, 3, and 4. A Baker 1 is a normal capsule. This is a normal response to having a foreign body inside of you. It can occur if you get a knee replacement or a knee implant, a hip replacement, any type of implant, the body's like, hey, here's something foreign, I'm going to protect the body from it. But it doesn't always become a problem. A type two means it's palpable, but not visible. What does that mean? If you touch the breast, you can feel a bit of a walled off implant, but you can't really see it visually. A type three is that it's palpable, you can feel it, and it's visible. You can start to see that there is some type of walled off effect and a very visible implant. And finally, a type four is a real problem. It can be palpable, it's visible, it's cold, it's hard, it's constricted, the entire breast dynamics change, and often patients are in a lot of pain from this capsular contracture. There's a lot of different reasons that an individual can form a CAPCON, as we call it in the industry, so to speak. However, you really have to discuss that with your board certified plastic surgeon before having a breast dog, which is a safe and awesome procedure performed all the time.